Hey guys, Shred100, and welcome back to more Pokemon Rift Dungeon. Um, last time we made it through the Dark Hill after Grovar, and this time we're going to be going into the new dungeon, the Sealed Ruins. Um, two part floors, first part's eight floors, second part is six floors, I'm going to be speeding up for the eight floor bit. So, well, bit which takes me the longest, which probably be the eight bit. Eight floor bit, all set. Let's go! And already you can see two Pokemon that we'll be seeing in this dungeon. Right, let's cue the music! To the next bit of this dungeon, which is six floors. Yes, let's go on. Must be getting close to the bottom now, are we? We have to catch up with Grovel soon. Let's keep it up. And the reason I've got music going now is there's a cutscene. I'm quite deep. How much further now? Oh, there if I get through here, I should be at the forest. Save a lot of coming. No time to waste. That reminds me. I don't know what those two are doing. Have they eluded the save boy? Oh, forget it. This isn't the time. I have to give priority to my own mission no matter what. I fail to complete it even if it means making sacrifices. Time to go. You there. Stop! Hmm? Who's there? You invade this place with no warning. And you disturb our, sum our slumber. Then, without apology, you try to leave. Who's there? Who are you? You dare to anger us. We expect you to pay for these insults. Who? Where are you? Quit hiding and reveal, reveal yourselves. You accuse us of hiding? We do not hide. We are. We are here. That doesn't look good. We are spirit tomb. And there is no mercy for those who try and guess, transgress against us. Arrgh! Okay. Deep sealed rune, basement one F. You can read, but I'm reading it for you. Ow. Fling again. Ah, oh, I can't help missing on these guys. You're kidding. Good luck, John. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, another reason why I wanted to show this because I want to talk to you, because, you know, I haven't really had a chance to talk about random crap for ages. Because uh, I'm now recording this on New Year's Day. Uh, I hope we had a good New Year's, by the way. Uh, it's kind of weird, it kind of awkward for me, because there's some of my parents' friends and their kids who I know but um, didn't really get along with all that well, so I had a very awkward evening. It was alright until I started, uh, it was very awkward until I started watching Pirates of the Caribbean the Black Pearl, which I've finally seen the entire film of now. So I originally watched it the first hour of it in primary school, and then again in secondary school. And 
and I just remember never getting very far with it because sorry I saw some problems on the uh, on the um, memory front which annoys me. I have finally seen the entire of the Black Pearl after only watching one hour of it before. And I quite like that actually. And apparently we have the films here, but I've never seen them. At home even, so I've never seen those. I suppose I have to look harder. <laughs> uh, yeah. but, uh, I had a massive thing I had to talk about in my head before starting this, and now I've just lost it completely. Well, it's just typical, isn't it? Um, but, um, whew, must think of the, must think of this on the fly. I'm, to those who actually watch my Let's Plays, which is a grand total of one of you, probably, but, um, I'm actually considering not doing any after this, because it's been interfering with my, it hasn't really been interfering with college much, but, um, I'm just not finding it as fun as I used to. I don't know what I'm. I don't know. If you want me to continue to continue let's plays, of course I won't. I won't stop. I just. Eh. I'm just not. I'm just not finding it as fun as I used to. That's all. Oh, you're kidding. Uh, I still have. So I get some characters. Wow, all seven damage. But uh, yeah. Uh, another thing. Uh, my parents are going a bit nuts so over stuff. No, they haven't. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> I just completely lost it now. But um. As you might have gathered from that cutscene, there is a boss here, and and it's also kind of obvious what boss that's going to be. And let's face it, um, there's no way, easy way you're going to win that one because oh no, because it's a spirit tomb. It's ghost dark type. It has no fucking weaknesses. So. Yeah, I can't remember what level it's at, they will come up in an annotation during the boss fight. And sealed ruined pit. Well, Grovile's in certainly not in a good way. Hey! There's Grovile! Uh, you two. Grovile, you alright? Stay back. What? Why? Careful. Enemy lurks nearby. What? Where? It's right beside you. That little thingy there, which my finger is in front of, which you can sit. That next to me? It can't be this. Ah! <laughs> All those who trespass upon this land. None should be forgiven, none! Not least of all, you! Who is that? Who are you? You ask that of us? Our name is Spirit Tomb! We are a manifestation of a fusion of spirits. Oh. 108 of them! That's quite a lot. Be careful, you two. That Pokemon is strong. Hee <laughs> hee. Prepare to take your punishment. Yes! Finally, this area is a boss battle. Well, I'm going to drink the time. Anyway, like I said earlier during that dungeon, if you're paying attention, um, this guy, being spirit, going, being ghost dark type, has no weaknesses. And that will happen. That will keep happening, which is kind of annoying. Hmm. Have an idea. Haven't used this for a while. Let's use growl. Hey, I should really explain IQ, the power saver IQ thing. Oh come on. But um the PP saver, sorry. Um it's uh it's um oh god, it when some occasionally Pokemon will not use PP when actually doing a move. That's what I was trying to say. Yes, it's got a burn. It's awesome. And there we go. Not a single revive CD used. 
Ah! 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 What's happening? Uh, I'm not gonna do that. My throat kills after that. It's. Okay. More bark than bite, huh? What was that? What was that all about? He got spooked and ran. Grover! You alright? Yeah, I'll be fine. Can you get up? Somehow. That Pokemon. It was cunning. Went up my nose and took control of my body. So that was a bad Pokemon? No, that's not true. That spirit team was probably upset over us trespassing in its space. It was frightening because it became so angry it lost control of itself. What you saw happened when the situation turned sour. It fled. It's normally a timid Pokemon. There are many such Pokemon here in your future. They are Pokemon who should be good. But they have become bitter and twisted because this world's been perpetual darkness. I see. The Pokemon going bad because of this world. That makes me sad. Hey, you two. Now you finally trust me? Um, somewhat. <laughs> I'll admit it, I don't really trust you, but. <clears throat> I've told you before, there's no point in continuing together, there's no trust between us. I'm leaving. Oh, wait! I didn't say I don't believe you. To be perfectly honest, we don't know what's what anymore. That's why we want to know as much as we can learn. And it's true I still don't completely trust you, Goraval, but what you said does make some sense. It just seems to be logical. So please, Goraval, please tell us what you know. Please tell us about this future. And why you came to our world, Goraval? So, so, what if I, anything I say to you is a pack of lies? It's alright. I won't accept anything you, you say at face value right away. I'll listen, then decide. That's actually quite wise. Well, fine. Follow me. Yes, I will save. I think there might have been some slowdown because of the, uh, and some problems with memory again. Chapter 15 The Secret of the Planet's Paralysis! That is fucking depressing, man. Good. This will do. The sable I won't be able to spot us easily here. Tell us, Grover. In the future, why does the planet's paralysis take place? The cause of the planet's paralysis? That dates back to your time, in the world of the past. The planet's paralysis started with the collapse of the Temple Tower, which was governed by, Dial by Dialga. D Dialga? Who's that? He is the legendary Pokemon that controls time. Dialga ensured the proper flow of time from Temporal Tower. When Temporal Tower collapsed, time gradually got out of control. Eventually the planet fell into paralysis. What what happened to Dialga? When time went out of whack, Dialga also lost control. Now here in your future, the planet has become fully paralyzed. As Dialga has lost almost all its reason and is governed by darkness. Dialga is now beyond recognition. Yeah. Has become an di entirely different entity. Yes, he has been transformed into Primal Dialga, a primordial presence. Okay, Ugh. Primal Dialga feels no emotion. He seeks only for self-preservation, so it prevents history from changing. That's why Dialga wants me gone, because I tried to change history, because I tried to stop the planet's paralysis, because I travelled back in time to your world from this place, your future. What? Grover, you're saying you came to our world to seek revenge the planet's paralysis? But that's completely opposite of what we were told. Grover, you came from our planet to that's our world to paralyze the planet, didn't you? And Grover, weren't you the one stealing the time gears? You've got to be joking. I was collecting time gears because they need they were needed to prevent the planet's paralysis. I needed to take them to Temple Tower and put them in place. That would reverse the collapse of Temporal Tower, which was fully underway in your time. While it is true that removing a time gear from a specific area 
causes time to stop in that, uh, that area. It's only temporary. After the time gears from the temple tower, time should be fully restored to normal everywhere. But then, what about all the things Dustmore said about you? Like I said, are you a wanted outlaw in the future? Well, I guess it's actually kind of true, because if Dialga and Dustmore are like big head honchos, then to them he is an outlaw, so Dustmore wasn't probably, probably wasn't lying at that point. And how you escaped from the future, and fled to our world in the past. So you're claiming all that was a bunch of lies? What else could it be? Because Dustmore really is an agent sent from the future by Primal Dialga to get rid of me. What? Dustmore was an agent sent to get rid of you? That's right. I have said that Primal Dialga will try to thwart any attempt to alter the course of history. That's why when he learnt that I had travelled through time, he sent Dustmore after me. Great. Dustmore? It can't be! It's hard for, hard for you to believe, I know. I can't believe it at all! You're saying all this about the great Dustmore? I don't understand why Dustmore is acting this way here, but I, but I respected Dustmore. I can't... I can't believe you. It is hard to accept, but looking back at what we've been through in this future world, what Grovel said is reasonable. It makes perfect sense. And Strom knows it. Strom knows deep down that what Doc Grover said is true. And knowing it makes it harder to accept. But. Hey, where are you going? I'm gonna see Dustma. What? I want to see Dustma. I'm gonna find out if you said it's true or not. Strom, you're bloody mad. He'll kill you. What's the point of that? He'll only be making it easier for them to get rid of you. I don't stand a chance against them. And what am I supposed to do? What are you supposed to do? Didn't you wonder this earlier? You decided that you'll decide for yourself. You insisted that because you did you don't know what to believe. You're willing to accept words for their face value, and you think for yourself. Ugh. It's times like this when things are tough you that you have to be strong. Think for yourself and act as you deem right. Revel, what are you gonna do now? I'm going back to the past again to stop the plant's paralysis. To do that, you need to find Celebi. Ce Celebi? That's right. You can come with me or not. It's your choice. You two decide on your own course of action. I'm off. Uh, I don't know what I should believe either, but there's one thing I can say with certainty. In this future world of darkness, the planet is paralysed. And the paralysis of the planet happened back in our world. That's why, to stop that from happening, we have to get back to the past. We have to get back. Back to our world. Holly. Yes, I know. What Grovel said, Grovel is right. Things are very tough now. That's why we have to be strong. Oh crap, we've gone over the time limit. <laughs> I'm sorry, um, I'm going to stop it here, next time for Ghost Dungeon we'll be going after Grover, I expect, see you guys then.